think they're gods, these consultants. Stop flapping, Simon. These clinics are always running late. <laughs> what if I ran my business this way? You're an accountant, dear. I'm not a cardiologist. Oh, go and ring Julia now. We're definitely going to be late. Go on. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm not going anywhere. I'll be quick. These can wait. They'll still be here when you get back. <clears throat> the Mill Health Centre, yes? Uh, Julia. It's Simon Adamson about the final accounts. Oh, I'm just on my way to see him now. He sounds very agitated. Hi, Simon. Oh, I see. No, no, that's not a problem. <coughs> oh, don't be silly. Come on, you get Isabella sorted out. I'll see you later. All right, bye-bye. Oh, poor guy. His wife's got a heart condition. They're stuck at the hospital. Fretting about the mill's tax returns? Well, he doesn't seem to cope with stress too well. Show me a man that does. Is this rush because of Julia? Well, She it's... won't mind waiting, you know. You mustn't get worked up. Or you'll be the one ending up from there. Oh, please. Just listen to me once. Please. I'm sorry. I hardly said a word to the consultant. Normally you have an endless list of questions. Well, he, he seemed to be very thorough. There we are. We should still make it in time. Barely started. Hello, low blood sugar. Come on, I need a biscuit too. <laughs> Ooh, hang on. There for you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <coughs> Looks like somebody has a mystery admirer. And I could have sworn I heard you singing at work too. At least I'm doing some work. <laughs> what do you think, Daniel? Can you smell the scent of love in the air? I can smell something, yeah. It must be the new air freshener under the desk. Sorry to disappoint. Am I right in thinking that they're from the lovely Lionel? Some of us have got work to do. Well, they, yeah, they've just arrived back now. Okay, yeah, thank you. Bye. Julia, so sorry we're late. I hate hospitals. Oh, uh, don't worry. Hi, Hi, Julia. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got some bad news. You've had a break in. <gasps> no. Yeah, I think uh, I think I disturbed him. You mean he was still in there when you arrived? Yeah, he just ran off behind me. Oh, right. You must feel very shaken. Well, no, it all happened so fast, really. Anyway, I've called the police. Well, can you describe him? And that's just a sort of fuzzy figure in a tracksuit bottom and a hoodie. Right, well, um, well I'd better go and check that the coast is clear. Could, could you... Uh... Oh, yes, yes, of course, yeah. I'll take that. Yes. <clears throat> Careful, there's a lot of broken glass. Do you... Do you think he, he's been watching us? Why? Have you noticed somebody? Well, no. Well, it's just that... Well, we had a bit of trouble with a new window cleaner, but I can't believe it. When was this? A couple of weeks ago. 
He took over when Ken retired. Tony Ward. He seemed like a nice young man. But Simon didn't like him. He said he was lazy and did a bad job. No, it's, uh, it's all clear. Come on, let's get you inside. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Busy. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, any news on Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Um, spit it out. You've been hovering about all morning. I, I just wanted to explain about last night, in case you were wondering about the woman that I Look, was with. Despite the prevailing attitude of the staff and most of the world at large, I like to keep private life private. Absolutely. And who you choose to dine with is your business and nobody else. Thanks. So we can keep this between ourselves then? Mm hmm. But uh, as this is between ourselves, yeah. I must say, I was a little surprised. I didn't, you know, imagine she was your type. Yeah, it wasn't really a date. Uh, we met through Gamblers Anonymous. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How did it go? Well, um, she said she'd been feeling a bit down and that, uh, and that I'd help pick her up. Oh, that's good. And did it help you? Well, she wasn't the world's best listener. <laughs> to be honest, um, she did suggest we see each other again. Took a bit of a fancy to you, did she? Well, yeah, she was lovely, but uh, I mean, I did what I could and, and uh, you know, I had to let it go. Gently. <laughs> but best not to get too involved. Yeah. Well, I better get on. Yeah. Well? No, no, there's not much gone. I mean, just my camera and that new DVD player. Oh, well, you didn't know how to work them anyway. It's horrible, though, isn't it, when someone's invaded your home? I wish I could give the police more to go on. Oh, well, it makes no difference. I mean, he's long gone now. I was telling Julia about Tony Ward. Oh, no, no, this, this, is, this is some yob who's trying to get his drug money. Well, whoever it is, he's left enough blood around. I should think the police will be knocking on his door soon. My picture. You know, I've been admiring that. Is that one of yours? My picture. Oh, that was her final piece be before she was taken ill. I, I, I love it. No! My grandmother's painting is gone. Oh, I can't believe it. Not that. Of all the things he could have taken. It's, it's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. We'll, we'll get it back. I promise you. Give the police my details anyway, and I'm happy to make a statement if they need it. I'm so sorry you've been mixed up in this. Look, this has been a shock for you too, so just try and unwind a bit. Not that easy. I know. I know Isabella relies on you. Yeah, well, actually, I was, I was going to ask. Um, after all this, she, she's been so fragile. Oh, yeah, um, I'll get Joe to call round. Thank you, Julia. Really appreciate that. Um, what time does Shakira come today? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'd... Well, you use that time to relax. Um, if there's time, I'll try and bring the accounts for you to sign. You will do no such thing. Don't even think about it. You stay here and relax. What was all that about? Oh, I went to Simon Adams' house about the accounts this morning, walked straight into a burglary going on in their house. Oh, no, it's absolutely what they both don't need, particularly in her state. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I suppose it's pretty vulnerable, big rambling house like that. Well, to be honest, I think that uh, Isabella would like to move, but the house has been in her family for generations. To be honest with you, I'm a bit worried about her, and I'm sorry, but I did say you'd drop by. No, of course, I'll try after lunch. Thanks, Jim. <sighs> Bella, Bella, you must stop fretting, love. Look, I, I call the glazier first thing. I mean, it's only some broken glass. There's no damage done. 
It's not the house I'm worrying about. Sweetheart, police would deal with everything. We can't risk you getting all upset. It had to be someone who knew about the painting, knew its value. What? That rules out Tony Ward, then, doesn't it? Well, maybe you talked about it in front of him and you said he was always sneaking about... Bella, Bella, please stop! <laughs> Here, come on, come on. Just phone the police and tell them about him anyway. <laughs> oh. Please, Simon. I just want my picture back. It's all I care about. Oh, now, come on, you don't mean that. Now, you love this place. I keep trying to tell you. All that matters is that we are together. Well, that'd be Joe Fenton. You, you just try and get some rest. Mm. You. Um, I've got a bit of glass stuck in there, so I tried to get it out, but... Mm, are you registered here? I haven't been in for years. Uh, Dr. Maguire? Oh, it has been a while then. What's your name? Tony Ward. Mm -hmm. Flat 155 Key Street? That's it. One of our nurses will see you shortly. Please take a seat. Well, as well as could be expected. She's obviously feeling very tired. She lost quite a lot of blood. Well, even so, I'm fairly pleased with her progress. Okay, thanks. Not asleep. Hey. Right. You wishing I was, aren't you? How are you feeling? How do you think? I'm sorry. Shouldn't be like this. It's okay. No, it's not. Anthony Ward. Yeah, I've cut myself. Oh, how'd you do that? Stupid accident, cleaning windows. Looks dead nasty. Well, I slipped on the ladder, a man went straight through the glass. Well, she just needs plenty of rest. Thanks for coming out, Joe. It's no problem. What did the consultant say? A week, a month, a year at most. He, he really doesn't know. Does Isabella know? Oh, we, we haven't really talked about it. I think she knows that she's dying. She'll only deal with it on her own terms anyway. And they are? Being at home, this house, it's, it's very special to her, but to both of us. Yeah. Hard work for you, though, such a big space. But moving is out of the question, the disruption to Bella. No, of course, but um, you're, you're coping okay? Yes, fine. It's just, you're looking pretty tired. I said I'm fine. Okay, okay. If Isabella worsens, just let me know. Thanks. I'll see myself out. And, uh, you take care of yourself. Well, Eva, I can't even begin to imagine what you must be feeling right now, but I do know that you can't start telling yourself that this is the end of the road. Tom. But if you give up hope just because of this. Hope? There is no more hope, Jimmy. Look, as a doctor, I can tell you categorically. What, what can you tell me? 